Yo, uh, what's up? Welcome to the ATW Builds. I guess it's a bike show. It's a gallery show. And we're here showing bikes. Uh, we got a couple builds here. Um, and I specifically wanted to talk about this Hydro Dip Blue one because it's super tight. Um, yeah, this is for a local customer actually. And we kind of went all out on the parts. We got um, these super high-end Sagino cranks and uh, Burke saddle and our wheels that we build in-house laced to Philwood Pro hubs. What else we got here? Um, we got our proprietary seat mass topper with the MV seat guts. Um, oh, we painted these Vision Metron bars which I think came out really nice. Um, and yeah, basically this is our uh, track ISP frame. It's made out of aluminum. We do everything start to finish in house. Um, it's multi-pass welded, which means that the welds come out smooth. Um, what else is there to say? Uh, yeah, we paint it in-house. I paint it myself. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with this bike. I thought it came out really nicely, so we decided to bring it out here and show it off. How, where or how, without giving away your secret, do you get the paint to look like this? It's so unique. Yeah, so uh, basically, uh, to keep a long story short, we do it in a kiddie pool that I have in my paint booth. So I uh, make the paint sit on the surface of the water and you dip the frame. And that gives you a super crazy organic undulating shape. How long does that take to do that? It looks like it would be a lot of dips. It's, so the, each part is two dips. So the, the bars are two dips and the frame is two dips. But that's not counting all the redos that I have to do. Because usually it doesn't come out how I like it the first time, so we gotta start over. And what did you say about these cranks? Those are the Super SG75, I think that's the name. They're basically the highest end Sagino cranks that they make. They apparently have a special coating on them that make them spin a little faster and they come with a ceramic bone. So you're saying you'd be faster on this bike? Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. <laughs> if, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, if you are fast, this bike won't. What size tires are these? They look really wide. How did you get them to look so wide? So these are our new rims that we're uh, now specking for a lot of our frames and they're super wide rim profiles. So these are 28 tires, but they look almost like 32s. And it just gives a really nice profile, especially for people riding crits. Um, you get a nice big tire patch and it just feels super good on the road. What size, what's the internal width on these rims? The internal width is, I'd have to look back, I think it's 22 or 23 millimeters. So it's quite wide. Sick. And where would somebody go if they wanted to order a Weiss bike? Good question. Uh, well, I think the best option at this point is to ask me really nicely because orders are close right now. But uh, get on the mailing list and uh, we try to let people know when we're going to open up slots and it's first come first serve so there's no favorites we're just like trying to you know we don't want to mass produce them and we want to take our time but um, we're going to build about 60 frames this year. Oh damn how many do you normally do in a year? 60 is just about what we did last year too. That's about five a month, guys, if you're paying attention. All right. Anything else you want to say? Uh, I love you, Terry. You're hey. the best, man. <laughs>
All right, we're going to let you get out of here. <laughs> okay, see ya. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.